The sequel immediately trolls its audience with its production logo. Code Red, Code Red, we gotta sit- Military bad guys wait until Agent Farmer was able to squeeze off a warning to his superiors instead of killing him before he discovered his dead cohorts. Discount Nick Fury. Evil Weebo. Unarmed office lady decides to leave the relative security of her walled cubicle to wander into a hallway with no cover. This bunker is way more USS Enterprise than I think the movie intended. Even though Gibbons put the bunker on lockdown, these giant doors remain open. Sorry, I'm reading heat signatures everywhere. They've covered all the halls. Actually, no. They've only blocked about half the halls. So unless this underground death bunker only has one entrance and exit, you've got some outs. Highly trained security agent Gibbons just lets this little flying camera look right at him long enough to gather information about who he is and his whereabouts in the bunker. Evacuate now! Where the sh are they gonna go? They locked this room down, so the only way out of here is through the large men with guns. Maybe just say bend over and kiss your ass goodbye. Who the hell we pissed off this time, sir? Vin Diesel, Gibbons, and Shavers escape without even one of those heavily armed assholes chasing after them. The new Triple X has got to be more dangerous, deadlier, more attitude. Perhaps Gibbons' focus on attitude instead of security and research and development is why he just left behind dozens of murdered colleagues and state secrets. Also, Gibbons is already looking for the next Triple X, even before he realizes the first one is dead. Also, sure, the first Triple X had some sort of purpose to be a new goddamn superhero, but at this point in the franchise, we'll just take any f***ing ex-military that's previously worked with us. Almost a minute and a half of grandiose Mission Impossible X-Men James Bond-style credits to pad the runtime of a mercifully short movie. If I know my f***ing sequel to a hit movie logic, Willem Dafoe is going to speed to cruise control this movie as the villain. This is a laundry list of suspects that covers half the world. Well, you'd better get cracking on it instead of standing around expositing about a legislative MacGuffin. Some privacy, please. Attorney client privilege. Fun fact, if you play a Jedi in a Star Wars movie, you retain Jedi mind trick powers in all the other movies you're in, which explains why this guard just leaves without questioning whether Gibbons is actually this man's lawyer. You can always tell the ones that were captured in the wild by the look in their eyes. Aww, it's cute how even after all this time, they still complete each other's sentences. Also, this is a masterclass on why Ice Cube should have continued his rap career. I like what you did with your face. Darius burns Gibbons so hard. Well, it was already burned, but that was sick. Also, that's facist. Should any job at the NSA have enormously identifiable writing on the uniform? Xander Cage was killed in Bora Bora last night? Sure, he's dead, until it becomes financially relevant for him to come back. He was one of only three men with access to that elevator. You know, the one that leads to sweet escape from the death bunker and has been in plain sight of all the other NSA staff? The other two. Ain't gonna be giving us much of a statement. Wait, but what about Shavers, who was hiding in the garage? He had to have had access and should be unaccounted for too. Note to prison architects, if you want to keep your prisoners from escaping, remove the design flaw of the rigid pole right next to the door handle that is an impediment to inmate chasing. Hey, you remember that vent he just kicked through? It seems to have magical regenerative powers because it is now completely intact. Hold it! The plaintive wail of the one guard who truly loved him was drowned out by Darius's obligation to his country. Nobody noticed this f***ing helicopter until right this second. To get in shape for this role, Cube did 10 bicep curls before the shot and called it a day. You were late! What? You just escaped at 12.04. Gibbons said 12.06 was the extraction, and that was literally the only moment you could have hopped on the chopper. So this seems more like an excuse to deliver a stupid action movie line. You know, the police have helicopters too. Jesus, Gibbons has the ability to flee the scene of all major disasters without anyone pursuing him. We got large and extra large. But do you have a triple XL? Darius Stone, cell block A. Not anymore. Darius Stone no longer exists. But how? All the guards in the prison he just escaped know he exists, and the NSA later pulls his entire file. You're the new triple X. Sound like a porno star. <laughs> what happened to the old Triple X? He's dead. Yeah, but that just happened last night, and Gibbons has been busy preparing this prison break on his own, so how did he hear about it? Especially, you know, with him being outside of the NSA and everything. We need to go to work now. I need to get more fries in another shape. Somehow the conversation between Cube and his personal trainer made it into the script. Well, what else can you do? The last Triple X, he could ski, surf, do all kinds of stunts. This is an excellent question. Gibbons needs the next Triple X to be in deep cover and use non-traditional methods, so of course he picks a career military asshole with no special skills. If we're gonna roll, we're gonna need something with a little more muscle. Ironically, the person who said this in a pre-casting meeting was immediately fired. Well, you may should. We'll start by giving me some. Darius has gone with these people from Leavenworth, Kansas, all the way across the country to Washington, D.C., and has gone to two of his former associates' chop shops without knowing a thing about the mission. Can you make that into a personal weapon? Give me an hour. Discount Scotty. We straight? No, you haven't told him anything about the f***ing mission besides the next location. This farm intelligence compound is teeming with agents, none of whom think to look at the road, where there's a conspicuously tricked out truck containing a dude with binoculars. You two, hold the floor. Everybody else, follow me! 
There are dozens of NSA troops on the farm, but Agent Underworld leaves only two assholes to guard the actual agency compound. Darius drops in through this hole that's left completely open to move with impunity into a bunker that's similarly unguarded. This movie should be called Mission Reasonable. X, main room. Even though Gibbons and Stone went over a layout of the bunker the night before, movie still finds it necessary to have shavers walk him through navigating the NSA bunker. Remove the first of three drives facing you. Bullshit. You're telling me the NSA didn't already take the hard drives from this secret location? Also, how long are these agents just gonna hang around this crime scene? Gibbons went all the way to Kansas, waited until the next day to get Darius out, then it took at least another day for them to get back to DC. Then they off. Oh, it. Lucky for Stone, these boats still have the keys in them. You know what, X? I'm really starting to miss the old Triple X. Jesus, this movie is hammering the fact that Ice Cube is not Vin Diesel. Okay, he's not a muscle bound jock, but could Vin make it was a good day? <laughs> Some bullshit. Wow, I hope they used extra Elmer's glue on that boat before a stunt like this. Cop car realizes that it's in this movie and takes the smart way out by bursting into flames and jumping into the river. Train sniper, the highest dive in Navy history. And we needed to give him some sort of extreme ability so that we could justify spending 90 million on this piece of shit. Last footage we have on him. A meeting with his lawyer. Okay, this is the NSFA, but no one recognized the wanted former agent that's MIA in this footage till now. Freeze it. Load up. Zoom and enhance cliche. Have a drink. I took the liberty of pouring myself. You were always myself. taking liberties. Gibbons mistakenly thinks he has a pun pointed at his head. I never asked you to go into that fire. No, you just said it and watched it burn. You know what this franchise about an X Games athlete turned government spook needs? Wartime backstory. Just so you know, whatever you're up to, you're not getting away with it. Thankfully, this is what the box office said to this movie. Darius Stone is gonna stop me? Was that supposed to be a surprise? This is a legitimate question. Gibbons flamboyantly broke him out of prison, and several dozen people saw Stone inexplicably blow up a bunch of different modes of transportation. They haven't exactly been subtle about it. Make it look like an accident. It's not that I'm mad the villain leaves this highly trained super agent in the hands of a minor henchman. It's more that I don't give a sh Explosion. Augustus Gibbons was a former Navy captain. Wait, were they just sitting around watching the news and this came on? How else would they have known this sh went down? Head of the NSA, FBI, Joint Chief, Secretary of State. But apparently there's no security detail around them that would notice one of the most wanted men in the country several yards away. Also, earlier, Agent Kate Beckinsale's booty call said they were going after Gibbons, meaning he'd essentially gone rogue and was not in the good graces of the government. But the f***ing Secretary of State shows up to his funeral? Charlie. You found him. Her. This is the only way they could find the person named Charlie on the microfish thingy they found on the drive. Go to Gibbons' funeral and find the hottest chick there. They won't look for a guy like me in a place like this. Unless they were, you know, following up on all the leads from Gibbons like they literally said they would do a few minutes ago. Day drinking. I'm an aide to the Senate Subcommittee on Military Action. Terrific. This action thriller threw in some political intrigue that is neither political nor intriguing. Half my old unit. And none of them recognize you. Who's the ugly general he's talking to? Jack Pettibone. As if this poor bastard weren't insulted enough by Darius, the screenwriters had to name him after a spiteful erection. We go back 30 years, Jack. Never question my command. Deckard continues his bad guy cliche bukake by expositing right in the middle of a goddamn party. Once we lead, the full force will follow. Willem Dafoe submits his Star Wars audition via triple X sequel. Black guy, white tux. No, white girl, dinner jacket. Jesus, can't this movie get anything right? How about some fries and a shake? I'll take sexual in your window that will make you hungry for 400, Alex. Highly trained professional killer sees a random gun on the floor and immediately picks it up. I don't care how important this dead guy is, they're sending ridiculous Blues Brothersian levels of cop cars to this fucking house. Listen, I don't care who you are, you got six minutes till we breach! Wait, they think the chairman's still in there though, right? But they still come up with this hilariously arbitrary deadline for breaching the house. I got him. Looks like upstairs bathroom. Earlier we saw Darius microwaving various frozen dinner and meats to throw off the heat signature. But can these f***heads seriously not tell the difference between a banquet meal and a human being? At what point, after watching a million movies where people assume the SWAT members' uniforms to conceal their identities, do they think about doing away with the masks? This TV gets more screen time than Samuel L. Jackson in this movie. You know, you don't have to wait up. She really doesn't have to do anything. This woman just gave him a place to crash after Exhibit booted him out, and now she's mixed up in the military coup, but somehow looks like she ingested half a bottle of Xanax. You remember all that damage we did in the back seat? The literal American armed forces are coming after Darius, but he's going to reminisce about the booty he got in his old Mustang for several minutes. That was a long time ago, D. It should be noted that more people call Darius D than X in a movie titled Triple X. The USS Independence. It's an aircraft carrier, man. Agent I forget his name has to explain to a Navy veteran what a naval ship is. 23 goddamn seconds of Ice Cube in a wetsuit climbing a chain. This isn't a Ken Burns documentary or anything. The movie's only 95 minutes. Dude has top secret documentation out in view of any of these assholes. Jesus, don't these bad guys have any dark hallways or closets to do their business in? Thankfully, the villain has her special black vinyl villain suit for easy identification. You know you should've killed that bitch! Gibbons has a point. Leaving her behind will definitely come back to bite ice in his cubes. Hey! 
Well, you guys have pretty much the same weaponry, so he's running you into that helicopter right there. Jesus, it's like these guys have never tanked before. No one takes a clear shot at Darius here because, like me, they didn't think he could actually pull himself up. Bravo squad to flight deck, now! Cobb issues actually getting into the fight and instead stands around like a dickhole yelling into the walkie-talkie. God damn it! Sergeant Cobb summarizes the experience of watching this movie. What exactly did Darius hope to accomplish on this mission to the carrier? Even he couldn't have thought this movie was stupid enough to allow someone to just have obvious top secret intel on their person that he could just whip out of their pocket. Magic water bullets are not quite magic enough to hit a sizable target. Ah, ah, ah. The NSA is in the middle of a massive manhunt, but agent dude that dumped Felicity has time for a goddamn boxing match? Here enough for World War IV. I think Stone lost count of his world wars. What if you wrong? I was wrong. I thought you was more than just another suit. Stone gets all pissy about Steele reasonably questioning his conspiracy theory about the Secretary of Defense plotting to kill the president. Dude, the entirety of the US government is looking for Darius, but this one f***ing guy tracks him down in a matter of minutes? Can he be the next Triple X? Look at this. President, VP, Speaker of the House, Secretary of State, the chain of command. Actually, no. First off, it's the chain of succession, not the chain of command. Second, it goes from the president to vice president, then Speaker of the House, President Pro Tempore of the Senate, Secretary of State, Secretary of the Treasury, then Secretary of Defense. So this little civics lesson is wrong, but hey, who would have expected the screenwriters to do a five second Google search? How far outside the box are you prepared to go? Like cast a husky rapper as the lead in your action franchise vehicle farm? Assholes and elbows, gentlemen. Let's go. Exhibit names the two things that had to be rubbed to greenlight this movie. I got some stuff I know you're gonna love. Okay, I know they've been set up at this chop shop for a couple of days, but Shavers just happened to queue a bunch of bullshit up in his spare fucking time? Darius and his crew hijack a truck with government artillery in broad fucking daylight. Isn't anyone keeping an eye on this vehicle? He's one man, Captain. What can one man do? Well, if that man were, say, Vin Diesel, we'd be a little more worried. The fate of the free world in the hands of a bunch of hustlers and thieves. Darius makes a similar comment to a typical Facebook post by my Aunt Debbie. Nice. Get crunk, X. I'm not as annoyed by this stupid white boy moment as I am that this is the only character that calls Darius X. Wow, this State of the Union address is pretty sparsely attended. I guess Congress got stuck in traffic or something. They're shooting at us! Is there a way to convey an eye roll via text and audio? No? Damn. That truck blew. It blew. It ex blew up. It blew up. And they all survived this. Welcome to the first tank jacking in history. And it's amazing that none of the other military assholes are around to shoot at us. You sure you know how to drive this thing? Just trying to get a feel for it. But you just expertly maneuvered a tank on the aircraft carrier, right? How the f was the president not killed like everyone else, even accidentally? Get rid of him. But do it all slow and sh you know how I like it. <laughs> this asshole trying to break down a door into the Capitol while his partners prepare to blow a hole in the side of it has almost made watching this movie worthwhile. Two teams, six o'clock, one team, twelve. Or you could just shoot at these two dickheads that are standing out in the open. Guns, bullets, darkness, excitement. Underground presidential bullet train forgets to underground. Gibbons, who is at best supposed to be a traitor and at worst supposed to be dead, orders the goddamn Capitol police and military around and nobody questions him. Movie apparently blew its effects budget on the prison escape, but Sam Jackson got the crew from Deep Blue Sea to do the rest in exchange for free coffee and bagels. Of all the preposterous in this movie, this is the preposterousiest. Did you ever think to yourself, hey, do you think a sports car would go as fast as a bullet train if the tires blew out and it was riding on the rims of a rail track? If so, congratulations, you roped this movie. Darius waits until just now to reload. Sorry, I had some brain leak out of my ear. What was I saying? Ah, yes, the old combat method of hiding inside the upper kitchen cabinet to defeat your foe. It's in Sun Tzu's Art of War and everything. I've been waiting for this for ten years! Actually, it's been nine, but at this point, is anyone still paying attention but me? Also, Deckard has a massive pregnant pause before killing someone problem. I see Darius attended the Prometheus School of swimming away from things. Son of a bitch stole my line. And you stole this one from Robin Williams and Goodwill Hunting. I think we need to go even further off the grid next time. I've got the perfect candidate. What? MC Ren? Also, sure, we'll have to wait for 12 years and Babylon AD to pass, but stay patient. I never have dinner with the president! Horses, 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 horses. We gotta go off the grid now. But if you wanna stay ahead of me, you need to keep both eyes open. You happy? Vincent! We happy? Decker takes over. Freedom won't be free for long. Freedom isn't free. It costs folks like you and me. That was happening, man. I come today, to, I'm ready to hit. I'm here to pimp your ride. Oh my god! So why don't you go to the police? Your turn to do the dying, General.